Okay. So can able spine target your low back specifically? Uh, short answer is yes. Normally when you lay back on the able spine, you usually try and aim the base of your cranium down here onto the headpiece as you lay back on it. And what this position traditionally does is traction the thoracic spine. It reduces the effects of forward head posture just to open up and improve your posture and your alignment. Um, this is what able spine is famous for. To target your low back, all you need to do is reverse the direction of the unit, just like this. And then you try and aim these targeted nodules, uh, sorry, the elevated nodules here to target that lumbar curvature in the low back. When you lay back on the able spine in that position, as you relax your body weight on the unit, what it will immediately start to do is traction the joint spaces and take pressure off these discs. And this also takes pressure off the spinal nerves in the lumbar spine. What's interesting about this position is that it also has an effect on mobilizing the sacroiliac joints in here. So in this position, if you carefully allow your knees to come apart, it can actually mobilize and stretch the sacroiliac joints as well. What I'll quickly do, I'll demonstrate how to get into this position. So you start just by having the able spine next to you on the floor. And in this position, you, you elevate your pelvis just like this and you carefully slide the unit underneath your low back and you try and get those elevated nodules to tuck right into that lumbar curve. Once you get in there, you just slowly let your body weight rest on the unit and it immediately starts the traction your low back. It actually feels really good. Now, if you carefully lower your legs and extend them right out, it can actually increase the intensity of the stretch. Um, I personally like to keep my knees at 90 degrees and allow my legs to come apart a little bit. And this actually works to stretch the sacroiliac joints as well, and also do a little bit of a stretch through your groin and adductor muscles. Um, initially, I'd probably recommend laying on it for no longer than five or six minutes. As you get more and more used to the dynamic nature of this stretch, you can lay on it for prolonged periods of time. So um, let us know how you go. Let us know if you have any comments or questions. Um, but yeah, right now it feels pretty good.